Today I'm going to show you how to pre-inflate and test your hammerhead packer. And this holds two purposes. Number one, we're going to test it in order to make sure it's not leaking or has any damages from a previous installation. But secondly, because our hose pipe could be in poor condition, we want to find out what the minimum air inflation of the packer is in order to touch the ID of the hose pipe that we're going to repair. So let's get started. I have a piece of four inch PVC is going to be our test pipe today. I'm going to take my four inch hammerhead packer, slide it inside my test pipe, and I'm just going to slide it in so that the white line is just inside the pipe. This is the spot we're going to watch as we inflate our packer to make sure that we know that minimum pressure when it inflates and touches the ID of our test pipe. I'm going to connect my air supply to my packer. Then I'm going to take a piece of paper. It could be from your truck, your office, it doesn't matter. Right off your clipboard, slide it inside the piece of hose pipe, and we're going to use this as our test piece to make sure when we get a snug fit with the paper, we know that we've reached our minimum inflation. I'm going to slowly inflate my packer, watching it, and don't rush this process. Take your time as you do it. You want to ensure that the packer is properly inflated, but at the same time, not overly done inside the hose pipe. Slowly creeping up, watching my packer and my paper. And once it reaches that, that PSI, we're going to give our paper a nice little tug. That tug tells us that we know the minimum pressure for inside the hose pipe that we're going to utilize on this point repair. At this point, deflate the packer. Slide our test paper out and our packer out of our test pipe. And now our packer is ready for its next point repair. If you follow these simple steps that I've just laid out, you'll achieve two objectives. Number one, you're going to validate your packer's in proper working order and is ready to perform a point repair. And secondly, you're also going to identify the minimum inflation necessary to perform this repair.